This lesson is about transaction statements for MySQL using the InnoDB storage engine, which are very similar to other storage engines. So there's set transaction, which sets the isolation level for subsequent transactions. And a transaction boundary is the first or last statement of a transaction. A transaction boundary is one of these statements. It's either start transaction, which starts a new transaction, commit, which commits the current transaction, or roll back, which rolls back the current transaction. A single transaction is any set of statements that starts with start transaction and ends with commit or roll back. If auto commit is turned on, then all individual statements are separate transactions because they commit or roll back immediately. And you can turn on auto commit by saying set auto commit equals on or off. A save point saves a specific point in the transaction and it's temporary. When a transaction commits, the save point is released. Save points are managed by three statements and followed by an identifier. There's save point, which saves internal transaction data and associates the data with the identifier. There's release save point, which discards the identifier and save data. And roll back to, which resets transaction data to the save point values, restarts processing at the save point, and releases all subsequent save points. And finally, there's checkpoints, which save dirty blocks and log records. So a dirty block is a database block that's not yet saved on storage media, but has been saved in main memory. And a checkpoint helps with rapid recovery from system failures by saving these dirty blocks and log records and it does this by suspending database processing, writing all unsaved logs and checkpoints to the log file, and then writing all dirty blocks to storage media and resuming database processing. And a fuzzy checkpoint saves dirty blocks while it continues processing to help improve database availability or uptime.